Hey folks, welcome back to the channel. It is part two of the assembly of the small block Chevy. So we're getting ready to lay the crank in. Stay tuned. So where we're at right now is I made sure that we had all the proper main cap bolts because I was missing a few. So I went digging through our little bucket of goodies and found the ones that we needed. And we've got all the journals all cleaned up and ready to start putting bearings in. So that's kind of what we're going to start with now is putting the upper bearings in. And when you get them out of the box, you'll note that they are stamped upper and lower. So anything attached to the block is going to be considered your uppers and your lower is on the main caps themselves. On this engine, we're using the Clevite bearings and the part number for those is MS-909P-20. So I'm going to set the camera up and then we're going to start laying in our bearings. So what we're getting ready to do right now is drop the crank in because we've got all of our bearings ready to roll. And we're gonna be checking the clearances and if you guys don't know what Plasti Gauge is, it basically it comes in a long strip and it's just wax is all it is. And there it is right there on the bearing. So when, when we go and we lay the crank in dry, which is the way I'm gonna do it, uh, we're gonna put the caps on, we're gonna to torque them down to spec and then we take them back off, lift the crank out, and then we measure how much that wax has spread. And if it falls within the parameters of the plastic gauge and the specs in the book, then you're good to just clean off the wax, off the uh, bearings as well as your crank, start greasing everything up, and then put it back together kind of for the final assembly. So we're gonna drop the crank in and start uh, getting things torqued up, and then we'll measure our plastic gauge. One thing you don't want to do is you don't want to spin it with that wax in there. You just want to set it in, put the caps on. So it was at this point here where I realized now that my microphone wasn't working, but I'm pointing out where the plastic gauge was on the uh, thrust bearing and all the other bearings and how it just flattened out the wax. And all you're going to do is take the gauge that's built into the packaging, hold it up and make sure it falls within the spec that it shows there. And each one of these was showing right around two thousandths uh, when I checked it on each bearing. So. We were able to proceed forward and start getting things lubed up until we ran into a small problem. Well, it looks as though we've got ourselves in a little bit of a pickle. Um, I'm getting ready to start putting this crank in here for the final time, uh, which means we need a rear main seal. I've got half of one. And on these small block Chevy, some of them had the uh, two-piece rear main seal. My gasket kit does not have anything in it. This is just what was left uh, in the box of junk uh, that we've got back from the uh, engine shop. So uh, I need the other half of this. CarQuest is showing that they've got one in stock. I called my buddy Justin. Uh, he's tied up, unfortunately, but he says he'll try and get, uh, get it to me sometime today. So. As it sits right now, we are at a standstill. I cannot assemble this engine any further without that rear main seal uh, because you've got to install that when you're doing the crank. So I think what I'm gonna do is I am going to grab some lunch, even though, well, it's only a quarter after two. I'll grab some lunch and uh, 
buy some time until Justin has uh, the opportunity to uh, help me out. And well, when we get that, we'll come back and finish up this crank install. So I figured while we wait, we might as well put this camshaft in. So we've got it all lubed up. Let's start fishing it through. Okay guys, Justin has come through. He just delivered, yes, he even delivered it to me. The two-piece rear main seal, we've got it installed in the back of the engine. Just like so. We're gonna drop the crank in. Uh, we've got all the uh, bearings all lubed up. We're gonna drop the crank in, get the caps put on, get them retorqued, and we're gonna call it a video. So, let's do her up. That went in there pretty good, so we're gonna take some more oil and we're gonna lube up the bearings, uh, the journals here, and we can start putting our caps on. The other thing to remember too is when you're putting these bolts in, uh, we've gotta make sure they're lubed up with oil. That'll help with the torque spec uh, for more accurate torque. And just like that, we've got a free rotating crankshaft. That makes me happy. So now that we've gotten this far, the battery is about to die on the old GoPro. So tune in next time and we're gonna get the rest of the rotating assembly complete, which is your pistons. And then we can start closing up the bottom end. So I hope you guys enjoyed this part two on rebuilding the small block Chevy. Stay tuned for part three, guys. Don't forget the Car Guy and Six Fan Show. Every Thursday evening alternates each week between myself and Grant Tommy, who is straight Six Fan. It starts at seven o'clock central, eight Eastern. And I hope you can join us talking cars with a bunch of guys talking cars. So stay focused on the windshield, not the rear view mirror. I love you guys. God bless. We'll see you again the next one.